Hello everybody, Rudy Fruity here, and I'm coming at you with another beginner-oriented Azurlean video. This time we are talking about the early game stages that are worth farming for gear specifically. If you like this video, leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe. Helps the channel out a ton. And with that, let's go. So the first stage I want to say is worth farming for in the near beginning is 2-3. It's not super crucial, but uh, when you notice your pressure ship goes catch on fire, this is going to mitigate that. Okay, so you'll take less damage. I think it boosts your uh, health as well. Pretty dang good. Excuse me, pretty dang good for beginners. Uh, it's going to be a little bit while before you could get um, the repair toolkits from the stage, uh, which would just basically replace it. But for now, uh, get those in the beginning because that's going to help your vanguard, specifically the mob fleets. Because if you have seen my fleet guide, you're going to know that you're going to want to build a fleet for mobs and another one for bosses. So for your mob fleet, the fire extinguishers are very useful. Okay, moving right along, that's going to do it for chapter two as far as equipment goes. So for chapter three, there are quite a few stages here worth farming. Uh, three, two, you get steam catapults, which are really good for your aircraft carriers. Of course, the gold ones are better, but for now we're going for the purple because that's what we have access to and is easier to farm. Also, hell divers are a really good purple ship. I don't know if it's still the case, but I think people would recommend using the purple over the gold because it had a certain uh, bomb it would drop that wasn't available in the gold for whatever reason. But yes, the Hell Divers is actually a good uh, plane to throw on your carriers. Now, 3-3 is also pretty decent. I mean, I haven't really <laughs> grinded here at all. As you can see, it's still at lethal level. But I only mentioned three because of the artillery design gun, the 76 millimeter, because there were some very few ships that can utilize this weapon uh, because you want to use the high fire rate to trigger barrages. That's the reason why. Um, I'll make a video in the future kind of talking about what ships kind of utilize that gun the best. Okay. Uh, and then three, four, of course, the infamous three, four. With farming, not only for the fox girls, but also they drop repair toolkits. These are excellent for your vanguards. These are going to heal them over time and also give them a health boost. So as you're fighting mob fleets, you're going to want your ships to survive. Uh, these are also pretty decent to throw in some boss fleets. Um, if, if you don't have like torpedoes or anything like that to throw on them. But yeah, these are good to throw on your Vanguard. Corsair designs are also a decent plane, especially in the beginning, the purple ships. These are good to have. And we'll also, of course, for people just can't stop talking about 3-4, is you get the Fox Girls. I got them in hard mode, probably. Let's see. People recommended to me to check hard mode. Yeah, okay, I got them in hard mode. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, the, you get the Fox Girls, which are pretty good aircraft carriers. Definitely worth picking up. Okay, moving right along. Chapter 4. Chapter 4 has 4-3. You're going to want it for this gun. Uh, these are great for light and heavy cruisers. These are just a general good gun. Uh, not to get into specific, like, what a specific ship would need. But these, you just want to slap on every heavy cruiser if you don't want to think about it too much. Uh, of course, the gold ones are better, but if you have only able to safely grind the early stages, then that's a pretty good option. And then we got 4-4. Four, four. Also, you get the main gun, but then also you get the quadruple 610mm torpedo gun. You definitely want to have, like if you're playing manual, you definitely want to have Good destroyers with good uh, torpedo guns. These are decent in the beginning. So pick those up. If you are looking to do both, you know, 4-4 is probably the most preferred because you 
also get the heavy cruiser gun. Okay. That's going to do it for this quick video. Uh, if you're a beginner, you know, let me know what questions you have about the game. I sometimes forget like what it's like playing this game in the beginning again. Uh, a lot of mistakes that some people make, a lot of things that people aren't like totally clear about that I just don't even think about anymore. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me know what questions you might have and I'll try to clarify that in the future with a video. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, good luck with your grinding and I'll be coming out with a mid game grinding tips video in the future. Okay, all right, bye-bye.